Mm, this tea is super strong. <laughs> I think I left it for a bit too long, but having peppermint tea instead of coffee in the morning definitely is different. I've been feeling a bit under the weather for the past couple of weeks. I don't know if this has to do with the constant changes in weather and temperatures. This time of year can be very moody. It is not uncommon to experience several seasons in just one day. It can be cold and rainy and windy and then in 20 minutes the sun will come out. It will be the nicest weather ever and then in the next 20 minutes it will go back to raining again so i think this kind of things don't go unnoticed by our bodies so it's definitely a contributing factor to my overall mood and i thought why not have just a reset day take it easy do some simple stuff something that i enjoy to do that includes crafts of course uh, i have been seeing this patterned candles all over the internet lately and I want to try that out. It is supposed to be a fairly easy craft so I'll do that definitely and then also maybe bake something for myself and catch on with some reading and just spend the day doing all my favorite cozy things. And I thought that maybe you might want to join me so let's spend a cozy and slow day at home. One of the few people who prefer colder weather. I love autumn and winter, but during those times I start missing the sun. And luckily enough today is one of those rare sunny but still cold spring days, so I want to take full advantage of it and just spend as much time as I can on my balcony enjoying it. I love when it just starts getting warm in spring, so days like this are my favorite during this time of year. I guess I could say these are my Goldilocks type of days. Not too cold, not too warm, just perfect. While working on these candles, I thought of an interesting term that I learned recently. It's called glimmer and it is used as an opposite to the term trigger. So glimmers are these little moments that have a positive effect on us, that spark joy. It can be really anything, watching a beautiful sunset after a long day, seeing a cute dog in the park or waking up to the bird songs early in the morning. I strive to fill my days with the glimmers of my own because I realized that those are the moments I usually tend to remember when looking back. It's really interesting how things that we think don't have the potential of bringing us happiness end up being the ones that we remember the most. Thank you. 
I would like to end this video by sharing some thoughts on a book that I read recently. It is a well-known classic, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It amazes me time and time again how books written centuries ago can be so relatable to this day. The story has so many valuable life lessons and one of them is the idea that we should live more like children. Reflecting on my childhood and even the adolescent years, I recall so vividly how back then we didn't think about excelling in tasks and being productive. We were living in the moment and only cared about the things that made us happy. Now that we are older, we worry about tomorrow and we are forgetting about the here and now, to the point that a lot of us feel completely disconnected, always living in the future that may never come. I know I'm guilty of that too, and this is not to say that we should Peter Pan our way through life, never growing up, never taking on responsibilities. This is only a reminder to not let go of that childlike, careless part of us that is always on the lookout for fun and happiness.